WECS something different, the latest from Sugar and your favorite thing. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm so excited we have her on the line right now. Part of the 22 Brides duo, uh, Libby. And hello, welcome to WECS. Hey, hi Mark, you just play one of my favorite bands of all time. You really like Sugar? Yeah. And, and Husker Du? Uh, I, I love Husker Du. Oh, any, yeah. any, any permutation of Bob Mould is okay with me. Definitely. <laughs> is he like one of your influences? or? Uh, yeah, I would say so. And Actually, I, I was uh, lucky enough to receive as a birthday gift um, the um, import uh, live album, the live acoustic album that he did. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's got it's like a double album. It's kind of hard to find, so oh. it's one of my treasures. <laughs> cool. Yeah. It's kind of like um, I just picked up a double live CD of Tori Amos the other week, and that's like my prized possession. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I'd love to hear that. Oh, she's excellent. It's all live too. Yeah. So hey, welcome to the show, and hey. uh, sorry about uh, missing you the past two times you tried to call. That's okay. I understood it was kind of busy there. It was. Uh, Conflict of schedules, I guess. Yeah. Well, oh, you guys had some senator on or something, didn't you? The first time, yeah. Yeah. He's running for uh, congressman, yeah. <laughs> and then the <laughs> last week you tried to call, uh-huh. and it was like, I guess the phone lines were too busy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, well, I'm glad we finally got through. It was a busy show, but hey, we're here, and uh, enough about us. Uh, let's talk about 22 Brides. Uh, All right. How did you guys get together? Were you part of some mass wedding or something? Or? <laughs> well, actually, uh, Carrie and her sisters. Ah, you know, I didn't notice that until, like, I was just looking at the sleeve a little while ago. I noticed you both had the same name. Yeah, not yeah. by coincidence. I'm like, huh. Ah. <laughs> so um, we've been doing this pretty much all our lives together. We've always sang together um, when we were kids growing up. And so it's been kind of a lifelong thing that we've, um, we've done, and we've had bands here and there. We, this is our uh, second or third band together, actually. Oh. This is and the first time you've put out a CD? Yeah. Yep, this is the first time we ever got this far with it, so... Wow, great. Yeah. How far you want to take it? Are you going to get your 15 minutes of fame, or what? <laughs> you know, I don't really, uh, I don't think about that part so much. I just, um, it's really exciting to be able to be doing this, you know, for a living now, and being being able to travel and tour and, and put out records and write. It's, it's all the things that I've wanted to do as a full-time job forever so we're just really excited to be able to do that that's great yeah it's, it's not it's, even like you have to uh, like you know do it as a part-time thing on the nights after you get out of a long day of work right? well we did that for a long time believe me mm, yeah <laughs> we did a lot of that for yeah. a long time and so right now um that that we both quit our day jobs about um five months ago and it was pretty exciting yeah that must have been great i was like all right i quit Bye-bye. yeah it was pretty <laughs> exciting <laughs> Um, does it annoy you when people compare you to other groups? Like, the first time I heard you, I was like, I was thinking, oh, they sound kind of like, you know, Indigo Girls-ish. Mm-hmm. Does well, it bother you, though? No, it doesn't bother me. You know, people, um, I think it's really natural that people want to draw comparisons to, mm. to other people because, you know, we all need a reference point. Right. I mean, I do it when I hear a new band, so I think it's pretty natural that people um, find common denominators between bands and just, you know, pinpoint that. Mm, yeah. some, some people are like they go oh I hate it when people compare us to them but I don't hate yeah. it I mean you know it's funny because I don't I don't I'm not really that familiar with their music except I know that they're two women and and um, you know they play acoustic but we don't really our our record is not acoustic bass it has some acoustic guitar and I think a lot of that comparison comes just from the fact that we're two women and we sing together and do harmonies but um, the music itself is pretty different. Hmm. I think that's ma- the main um, yeah. the main thing. Did you start off acoustic or um, when you were yeah, young? Yeah, we did because our mom played acoustic and and um, she she was kind of a singer song. Uh, she didn't write songs, but she was um, kind of a folk influenced um, singer. And she had a guitar and she taught us how to play guitar. So that's how we learned. Hmm. Was she we like learned on acoustic guitar. Is she one of your main inspirations? Or? Uh, I don't know. She yeah, in a, in a certain way. I mean, she, um, I don't, I think as much as she loved doing it herself, she didn't really envision us doing it. It was hard for her to imagine us doing it, you know, for a full-time career, and we banged our heads against the wall for so long, you know, our parents were kind of like, uh, girls, you know, maybe you should, like, you know, go back to school or <laughs> something like that. The typical uh, parent thing yeah. to say, you know. 
So it, it was kind of alarming, to you, I think. <laughs> Um, I hear that you'll be opening up a few shows for Lisa Loeb. Or, uh... Yeah, actually, we we um, did one last night at the Bottom Line, oh. and um, that went great. It was really a great show. Both shows were sold out, and we we just had a great time. That'll certainly give you some publicity. Yeah, I guess you know it's it was fun. We really had a great time. Mm. It's it's kind of too bad though that you're you have to open up or open up for her because like uh, she's not. Too good on my list. At least. <laughs> I don't know. The first time I saw, first time I heard the song, I was like, okay. And then I saw her on VH1, and I like, I was like, oh my gosh, you gotta get rid of those glasses. She looks horrible <laughs> with those things on. It's like, I see pictures of my aunt when she was in uh, going to school in the 1950s. But, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. She is doing pretty well in the charts from what yeah, I hear. Yeah, she's doing real well. Well, um, I got to meet Ethan Hawke, but I was really a geek when I met him. Yeah, that's her um, her next door neighbor, right? Yeah, yeah, and I was um, I acted like a real goofball, so um, really. But you know, the show is fun. Um, I don't know if we'll be playing any more shows with her, so hopefully oh, next time, maybe someone will be opening up for us. <laughs> <laughs> we go back there. I think they want to want to have another show back there soon. So everyone, come on down to New York City. Yeah, it's a great place to play. Do you ever play up in our area? Um, we're going to. I think we're going to do some college dates up um, your way in the fall, but I'm not exactly sure if we've nailed them down. Mm-hmm. Well, um, we hope to see you Got any good here. suggestions? Come up to Yukon or Eastern. Yeah, I think I think we, we might do that. Any clubs are on we should hit? Any clubs? Yeah. The, you could go to the Sting. That's uh, pretty big uh-huh. in New Britain. Okay. And Toad's down in New Haven. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, there's this plenty of places to play in Connecticut, sure. Connecticut's a happening state, you know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's right. what I hear. <laughs> yeah, all those uh, golf shoes and, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wearing green pants, are you? Why? Well, don't, you know, there's a lot of that up there, right? Well, yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, they're not lime green. It's like the alligators and everything, right? Actually, um, I, I always wear green jeans, just like my uh, mentor. Oh, from, jeans. Okay. Well, from the, the Captain jeans. Kangaroo show. Remember yeah. Mr. Green Jeans? Yeah. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. Are you hoping that, um, seeing that you're, op- um, no, I forget that question. <laughs> Never mind. I'm, I was off on a track. <laughs> Um, how far are you willing to go, though? Um, like, say a record company came up to you and said, oh, we'll sign you up and give you all this publicity if you'll, you know, change some of your songs, kind of alter them so that they're more poppy, appealing to a top 40 crowd. Would you do it? Uh, no, I wouldn't do it. Good. Uh, no. Actually, I think our next record, we're getting ready to do an EP, and um, it's probably going to be a lot, a lot more left of center than the stuff that's on our record now. So... I'm really into taking uh, more risks. That's that's what I'm interested in doing. I'm not. So you're definitely not motivated by the money and fame and all that. You know, I can't. I can't say it would suck to have some money for once in my life. I mean, I'm hmm. so I'm still really broke right now. Both of us are. I mean, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be a drag, right? Yeah. <laughs> to be able to go to the store and figure out if it's okay if you buy toilet paper and spaghetti. <laughs> um, but. Um, it's not the first thing that I think about. It's not. It wasn't my or Carrie's motivation to do music because mm-hmm. there's a lot of other jobs that you can do that are, you know, I guess you just go through, a, you know, you, you struggle for a long time. Most people do before getting anywhere. So there were probably easier ways to make a living. <laughs> yeah. it's, you don't think it's worth compromising your principles to do it? I don't know. I don't know if that's really a consideration. I mean, I don't know how how a record company would actually present that to you or um, how they go about saying that. I mean, you know, if they said, would you work with with this producer and and we're going to make you sound like, um, you know, a Whitney Houston record or something? Yeah, I mean, (laughs) from what I hear, that's what happens a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Especially, you know, we're on an indie label, so there's a lot of freedom when you sign with an indie label. Um, We have a very close relationship with with the people at our record label, and it's pretty personal, so... Mm. It's zero hour, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you plan on putting any videos out? Yeah, actually, we just recorded a video this week. Oh. We just did. Cool. <laughs> Tuesday. All right. And um, we're really excited. We saw a rough cut of it last night, and it's, it looks really great, so, so that's going to come out soon. Good. It's right. for Visions of You. Oh, and it'll be on MTV? 
Um, I'm sure they're going to pitch it to 120 Minutes. Oh, yeah. They still have that show on? Yeah. Wow. And Alternative Nation. They I have grew that. up on 120 Minutes. Huh? I, I grew up with 120 Minutes. Yeah. And Kevin Seal and all that good stuff. Yeah. Well, that and Beavis and Butthead. Oh, The geez. two main shows. Don't get into that, <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> um, now, are you getting any commercial play on any radio stations, commercial radio? We've been getting some play on some of the um, more commercial alternative stations. Like DR larger. DRE? Um, I think we're getting we're going to get on DRE. Right now, um, we just got on MMR and um, HTG. MMR is Philadelphia, HTG is Jersey. Ah. And they're two pretty big um, commercial alternative stations. We did a live performance there. Uh, you know, we just took our stuff up to the radio station and hmm. played on there, and so that's been pretty good. So we've been hanging around in Jersey and in Philadelphia a lot lately. Great. Yeah. There's a station in uh, Providence too called BRU. They're uh, for Brown University. Uh -huh. They have their own radio station like us, but they're commercialized. Oh really? Yeah. They, they you know they bring in the money. Yeah, it's kind of interesting um, that that mix. Hmm. So, I mean, you know, we're just, uh, we're getting played on, on uh, some small stations and some really large stations, but it's been kind of fun this past week because um, one of the guys in, in my band and also a guy in my record company said that they heard it on two different stations. So that was really, that was exciting. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, who did the cover art on your uh, CD? That was Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy Palmiotti, who is Carrie's boyfriend, and he and Joe Casada just formed a company called Event Comics. They're both real uh, comic. Joe Casada is pretty well known. Jimmy's very well known, too, mm. in the comic book world. They both work for Marvel and a lot of, um, uh, I guess, Valiant. So they they did the um, the Gargoyle for us. I like Joe that. drew it and Jimmy inked it. That's really cool. I, I wish everybody could see it right now, but uh, it's it's really cool. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and on the back... We have a picture, a, a picture of both of you. Yes. Now, which one are you? You have the uh, brunette here. Or I'm the, the one uh, kind of squatting down. Okay. Oh, so you're <laughs> that the one with all. Doesn't sound very good on the air, does it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. But any, anyway, <laughs> you have all the uh, pierced ear. You have all yes. the piercings in your ear, right? Yeah. Once you start, it's a hard habit to to break. <laughs> How many do you have? Um, I have uh, seven. And just in that one ear as alone, or yeah, wow. Any other body piercings <laughs> we should know about? Well, I'll have to. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to let you know about those, Mark. I see. When when you come up to visit us, right? You know. Yeah, <laughs> ask me that in person. Oh, okay. How how was the uh, Sono Arts celebration? Oh, it was great. It was really fun. It's I just I love playing outside. I playing was surprised. Outside is the best. Really, I was surprised when I found out that they was going to be playing on the street. Yeah. That was weird. So they closed off the whole town practically for that thing. Huh. And or at least a, a you know a real big portion of the town and they had a few different stages. So it was fun. It was it was really it was a good um pretty packed. Yeah. Scene. It was fun. Do they have any like booths set up for like games and food and all that stuff? Yeah, all that stuff. You got to stuff your faces and Yeah. And have a good time. Yeah, actually the food was kind of gone by the time we got there. It wasn't so it was kind of dregs. I had a I had a muffin. And, um, oh, just a just a muffin. Yeah. Was it a blueberry? Well, you had to buy these tickets to to get food. Oh, that's how they work it. Yeah, yeah, that was a little that was a little more confusing than I wanted to take things that night. So I just yeah. ate muffins. I see. Are the um are the rumors true that you were the last minute addition to the Woodstock '94 concert? Oh yes, they are true. Oh my gosh, yeah. I I heard, I heard it somewhere. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was us. Cool. Did you see us? Yes, I did. No, yeah. I, no, I didn't get the pay per view, but uh, uh, I heard about it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Trent Reznor got that idea of rolling in the mud from us. Oh, so you started the whole thing? Yeah, I and mean, we got on stage first, covered in mud, <laughs> and then Trent Reznor. Got, I mean, you know, you know, you think that's really original, but we thought of that first. Ah, so, I see. Yeah, we were naked and covered with mud. Oh, you were naked too and yeah. covered in mud. I, you know, I couldn't believe this. I've seen pictures in magazines and newspapers uh -huh. of. People standing there in, you know, at Woodstock naked, yeah. right, right there in print. Yeah. I was like, don't they have laws about this? <laughs> <laughs> no, laws are suspended. It's Woodstock, man. No, I mean, I'm not talking about being there, but I mean, like, they printed it. 
It was on the newspaper. I was like, whoa. <laughs> but anyhow. Oh, yeah. Um, let me see. And uh, da, 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 da. That's about all the questions I have for you. Okay. I've got some for Carrie, but uh, I guess she's not around, huh? No. <laughs> well, I guess uh, we'll have to call you back. Oh, well, well, hopefully you'll come up here. When are you going to have us up? Uh, whenever you can get up here. Okay. We'll talk off the air, and we'll find out when you're going to be playing in the uh, any clubs around here, and we'll, of course, promote it for you. That sounds great. All right. Well, we thanks a lot, Libby. Well, thank you, From Mark. 22 Brides. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right. Stay on the line. Okay. Okay, Libby from 22 Brides. Thank you very much. And uh, let's uh, do a song from 22 Brides right here, one of the songs we've been playing, Harder Than Nails on Something Different. W-E-C-S. Mm-hmm. 